Muslim, welcome back. Uh, how excited are you? A pretty big opportunity uh, here on ABC against uh, Li Jingliang. Are you excited for this opportunity coming up here on Saturday? Of course, I'm excited. I'm long time no fight. So, I, you know, I'm waiting for this one because I really miss this. And you said long time no fight. Uh, why was that? Was it travel issues, injuries? Uh, I don't have injuries. But COVID, you know, it's two times <laughs> I get COVID. That's why I'm done fight. And how, how do you deal with that mentally, like where it's, you know, things outside your control keep interfering with what you're trying to do? Sorry, one more time. How do you deal with that mentally where, you know, COVID is the reason you're not fighting? It's not your, it's not your fault you got COVID. It's just something that happened. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a warrior, you know. I know. Uh, fighters have a lot of problems, injuries, uh, health, you know, the COVID. But I understand I have to keep going, training every day. Uh, of course, it's not easy when you don't have a fight. I train two times a day, but I understand if I not do it, I'm not young. I have, I should train every day because if I'm stopped, I can't come back in my best shape, so I am always keep my shape in good uh, in, in in good level. Now that you are here, how do you like this opponent, this matchup? Is this one you you think is favorable for you? Oh uh, yeah, you know this fight. Uh, when I before when I fight in China, many fans in China ask me, "You won't fight with Li Jinlong?" I say, "Hey guys." This guy fight in UFC, I fight in uh, China, and I'm not MMA fighter. <laughs> I'm just kickboxing fighter. But now I'm in UFC and I'm a MMA fighter. So after my first uh, win in UFC, I call out to Luigi Lan. I say I won't fight with him because a lot of people in China, in Sanda uh, community, like to see this fight. So. Um, you know, I'm very excited for this fight. I think a lot of fans waiting for this. Yeah, and how long ago was that when you first heard of Li Jingliang? Was it like, you know, b before your MMA career even started, you knew who he was? Uh, yeah, before my starting MMA career, yeah, it was like maybe 10, 12 years before. And we know, long time know each other, you know, we trained some time be be uh, before together, but never think that we will fight. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. When you guys trained together, how'd the training go? Uh, Sometimes we train in China, maybe two times. And, and in we train last two years in Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. We do same time camps, like same time he prepare for that fight, uh, for another fight, I prepare for another. But we, few times we did sparring together, <laughs> you know. But uh, sparring, it's a sparring, I understand this. Fighting, it's a different, so. You know what I'm getting at. Had those rounds in sparring go, I know it's different, but you can gauge a lot when you train with somebody in the gym. Yeah, of course, we need each we, we know each other very well because I see his fights a lot. He, he see my fights because I fight a lot in China. And I know, you know, I'm one of the biggest enemy for Chinese fighters in my weight category. So I think for him, it's most important fight in UFC. Also for me, because I understand it's a um, big opportunity to come back for to Chinese market and uh, remind people about me. Your English is very good. How long have you been in the States or did you learn when you were home? Uh, you know, I train around the world. I, t I live three years in Thailand, then in China, then in Brazil, and finally here from 2015 I'm training uh, I, do, I did a lot of camps in, uh, in America, in American top team, in Las Vegas, in New Jersey with Mark Henry. He talked with me a lot. I'm very appreciated and uh, like him. 
He teach me a lot of things in English. <laughs> Where do you train in Thailand? What gym? Uh, like just Muay Thai, Muay Thai camps. Never train in Tiger Muay Thai. Just one time I trained Phuket top team. But more I train for K1, you know, like not like MMA fighter. Just for Muay Thai, like kicking pads, bags, do, do the sparrings and fight in Thailand, in China. Like Muay Thai, K1, uh, kickboxing, Sanda, like everything. I have big experience in striking. No, I was going to say thank you. You helped sway my bet right there. Thank so. you. Hey, Muslim, just a question for you. The odds makers right now, they have you at a little bit under a two to one favorite. You're a guy that's won five straight. Do you feel like the odds makers are disrespecting you a little bit by not making you more of a favorite? Uh, I think it's not disrespect. You know, I didn't fight like almost one year. Maybe, uh, yeah, one year. So it's it's normal because you should be active if you want to be uh, in top 15, top 10. You should be active. But you know, I I think people should talk more about me. You know, because I beat really tough guys in UFC: Nardin Taleb, uh, Francisco Trinaldi. These guys are really tough. You know. These guys, not not joke. And I beat them, and I think I deserve a little bit of respect. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>